Well, I wanted to record this witness of mine of some things. Um, I've heard people say demons are not real, they're a figment of your imagination. And um, I know some people don't believe in demons or Satan. And uh, I did not want to believe in demons for the longest time until I was confronted with the reality of it. And what happened was. Uh, don't know if I want to get into the details, but basically some people were playing with the Ouija board. And I know for a fact, this is just as real as just you know that there are police officers or something. Um, they, they were playing this with this Ouija board, and uh, that's a, like a little board that people use to... Um, get like it has little letters of alphabet on it and they do like a, they close their eyes and they're they kind of like pray to demons it's pretty pretty scary what they're doing but so anyway they they do this seance thing and um uh what is it it's like um they do this and i, I was up on hanging out where i shouldn't have been hanging out and stuff and they were messing around with this on this hill and uh I was praying because I didn't want them to do it, and uh, but I decided I didn't want to be around that, so I left. And uh, not sure if it was a mistake or not to leave, but that's exactly that's what happened. When I left, I suspected that there was something that came with me that was in my car. Uh, I sensed that there was a um, uh, unclean spirit. I don't really want to give glory to demons or devils or anything like that, but just just you know, in case you're wondering if they really are real, real they are. This is my witness, okay? And uh, so now that wasn't proof of anything to me at all. It could have been my crazy imagination or something like that, right? You know, but I sensed something was not right, and I didn't want it to be there, and uh, I didn't want to think that way. But that's the way it was going on. And so I was kind of troubled about it, and I went home, and there was a person that I know at home, my house, and two children, and uh, the two. when I walked in the door, I walked into the living room, and they were, they were looking at me, sitting there looking at me, and I said, guess what just happened? Before I even explained to them what was happening, before I even opened up my mouth, the two children that were there were upset and weren't happy about what was going on. And the, the man that was with them was a Christian, and the kids were Christians too. And uh, he immediately started to pray before I even explained what was going on. In fact, I never did really explain what was going on. He told me we need to just drop the subject and move on and not discuss it anymore. And uh, so he told everybody, just don't tell anybody what happened. But um, I, you know, how in the world would it be that they would know there's some kind of a demonic thing going on and they had to pray, you know, to Jesus for this to go away and the kids would be disturbed by that. How would that possibly happen? when I just simply walk in the door I'm not upset or anything I'm just walking I'm going guess what just happened and before I even get to explain it they they knew something was wrong that is proof I didn't see it see my I didn't even personally see it but they did I wasn't saying hey there's something going on there's a demon falling I didn't even mention that I just walked in the door and they knew right away something was not right they sensed that right away and um, so to me, that's proof of it, and there's other things that have happened um, also that were strange that I couldn't really say as proof, but there were things that, um, that um, it's nothing really to brag about. It's just real, and it's just the Western mindset because of evolution, because of atheism and all that, people don't believe in evil spirits, and then even when they're Christians, they really don't believe that there's demons out there when there really is.